Each lung is like a 3 liter bag inside our bodies and we can make a model of lung and you can see them inflating and deflating, breathing in and breathing out and all you need is just an old plastic bottle, some balloons and plastic tubes. First take this plastic bottle and cut the top part out. Now this part will become your chest. Poke a hole with the scissor in the lid. Close the lid and then take this Y tube. <coughs> the vertical notch is like your windpipe and the two Y limbs are bronchi or smaller windpipes. Now, they, now take these two balloons, insert the Y tube inside the balloons. <coughs> Tie them with the rubber band so that they are sealed properly. These are our two lungs. Now take this Y notch and put it inside the lid from the bottom. The model is ready except for the diaphragm. Now lungs seem to be doing most of the work but the main driver behind lungs inflating and deflating is the diaphragm and we'll see how that works. So take the third balloon and cut the top notch off. This balloon should be small enough so that it fits tightly over this bottle. And now the whole model is ready. Notice this lungs deflate and inflate only when we pull the balloon or the diaphragm down. This balloon is the diaphragm in our body. When the diaphragm muscles contract, the diaphragm also contracts pushing and deflating the lung. When the muscles are relaxed, the diaphragm comes down and the lungs get filled with oxygen. So these lungs supply blood with the oxygen and take away carbon dioxide. This happens inside the lungs where blood inside the capillaries and air inside very thin pipes called alveoli come very close together. Now concentration of oxygen which enters the lung is less as compared to the concentration of oxygen in the air or inside the lungs. Hence the oxygen moves inside the blood and similarly carbon dioxide moves out of the blood. This is how we breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. You will be amazed to know that this gas exchange takes place over 2400 km long windpipes inside our lungs. That's how long these small windpipes are inside our lungs. We hope you enjoyed making the model of the lungs. And now it's time to think. So why do you think the left lung is smaller than the right? Do our diaphragm muscles work when we breathe in or when we breathe out? And how will the gas exchange be affected when we breathe polluted air? or air with large amount of carbon dioxide. Enjoy thinking and have fun with the lungs.